What's up, everybody? Spare what a gun here from Sleepless Night Studios, and welcome to season two of Kerbal Sp Space Program, which is the new patch thing, my bobber, or whatever. So it might be a little weird that I just kind of switch seasons or whatever to season two without like a finale to the first one, um, but that's mostly because I didn't know the game was going to be patched, pretty much. Um, I had no idea there was a patch coming. I knew they'd been working on one, but didn't know it was here. And then, voila! It was here. And I didn't really try to use the old save that we had, that we'd been working on with, like, all the other missions we'd done. But I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have worked, because you can see the meters change, the graphics have changed... Well, not graphics, but the bases changed, so I don't think it would have been compatible. Um, so I started a new game, and when I started, there's this option for um, creative, career, or science. Now, science is essentially the old career mode, and he even says that in the description. It'll say classic career mode, um, which, I don't know, if I had reloaded my old save, it may have just loaded it into classic. I don't know. Um, I did keep a backup of it, just in case I ever wanted to go back to it. Um... But, so yeah, here we are, and we've got some new stuff. This is the recruiting... What is this building? Uh -huh. This is new. Welcome to Mission Control. Please select a mission. Uh, available, active, archived. Okay, so here's your contracts, I guess. So we have launch a new, sh sh new vessel. Uh -huh. Set altitude record of 5,000 meters. Escape the atmosphere and orbit. So... The apparent, the apparent frequency at which we'd find ourselves underestimating how volatile standard grade solid rocket fuel really is was making a group of clerks from Kerbin, world first record keeping society, feel positively notorious. That eventually made it clear that it was definitely hard for us to tell if we actually didn't know anything at all. So as you can imagine, this is why we're here. Launch a new vessel, Agent Kerbin, World First Record Keeping Services. KWFRKS, I guess. So, limit, or trivial prestige, objective, launch a new vessel, incomplete, rewards, advance, completion. So you get this much in advance, and I don't know what this is, but I guess it's the currency. Completion, 5 science, 11 stars, failure is negative 2,000 money. So this is your science bar, I guess. This is, I'm assuming, your notoriety. Or whatever they're calling it. I don't know what they're calling it here. Expires never. Set altitude. Okay. So you get money in advance, and this lets you kind of complete things. That's interesting. And we always start with them. Now, does it cost anything to hire anybody? I guess not. I guess you can just hire people, because my money didn't go down at all. So let's just grab everybody, I guess. Watch, now it's going to be like, oh, once a month you have to get charged for that. Aw, oh, crap. Okay, this requires five science. Okay, so launch a vessel. Okay. So we have a little bit new of a career window, too. Still all this stuff. This has changed, though. So this costs 600. Okay, so here's what we have. Here's our cost. And do we have any science? Just an antenna. Huh, okay. Action groups look the same. Crew looks the same. Now I wonder... Um... Let's, let's name this the, um... Kerbin first... Oh, no, I don't need to save this. What am I thinking? That's just a pod. Um, so we need to accept the assignment first, I guess. 
Gene Kerman, we may be overqualified for this mission, but we overestimate our qualifications. <laughs> uh, and then, I don't know what these things are. Or if they're just background. They could just be background. This one sounds like a prob properly tall order. I can't wait to see it attempted. You know, something it's worth doing when there are others questioning whether it can be done at all. Probably won't make the front page on the news, but it's a, it is a proper job and it needs doing. Alright, now can you accept more than one contract? You can. Okay, and since these never expire, let's just go ahead and grab all of them lest I forget to, to do that and then we don't make as much as we could. Oh, one other, one other thing. Big thing. Oh, and because we accepted all those, we got a lot in advance. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Um, one other thing is, uh, not only did this update change the career mode and all that, it changed, um, oh, oh, that's cool, it kept that, sweet, um, it changed that now there's a 64-bit version of the game, which you may notice, because I'm noticing it a little bit, it runs a little smoother, it loads a little faster, um, now granted, we're not doing all the crazy crap that we were used to, but, you know. Alright, what is this? This is our money, notoriety, science. This is our fuel tab as normal. This is our contracts. Launch a new vessel, achieve an altitude of 5,000. We could have probably gone for the 5,000 thing, but... And then that's signals? None. I don't know what that is. Okay, so let's do an EVA. Get out here. Can we do like a surface sample? I guess that gives us some. So let's keep that. EVA report. Keep that. I haven't done these like simple missions in a long time. Um, they definitely have changed the interface and stuff as well, though. Like it, things look sharper, the text looks clearer. Um. So, they, they did some overhauls on the, at least the interface of the graphics. I don't know if the actual graphics are. Alright, so we got 12 science. Crew report. Okay, so that's science. Parts. Part value. Okay, so you get... Oh! You get funds for recovering parts. Hmm! So, that's... That's pretty interesting. Oh, and he gained... Wait, is that... Is that total reputation, or is that... Launch a new vessel. Accepted... Wait, incomplete. We want you to launch a vessel to officially... Oh. So I guess that didn't count. <laughs> so... I didn't read anything in the change log about this. But I wonder if the people, like, advance now. I don't know. Okay. So we need to launch a vessel, which means we need to bring it back down. So let's go ahead and grab a parachute. As that is important. And all we need to do for this one is to break... 5,000. And then land, basically. Let's just grab a couple fuel tanks, grab an engine. I don't know, what's the thrust on this 215? Let's grab another one just to be sure. And that should be enough. Let's call this Kerbin First Contact Contractor. Mark one. Not that that really needs to be saved, it's kind of just a force of habit, and then you can always build off of the something that's already designed from there. Okay. Please don't tip over. Okay. And... Uh, oh no! Can I revert the flight to assembly? Or to... No, to launch. Let's do launch. And I can change the... 
<laughs> I didn't even pay attention to the staging. Okay, um, let's add a stage here. <laughs> Put that there. Alright, now it's already got me set. Let's just see if that works. Turn our SAS on. Woo! Oh, it switched out Jebediah. Dag nabbit. It switched out Jebediah. Man. Alright, so we should be able to make 5,000. In truth? Dang, dude. I don't know if I can make an orbit or not, but... I could probably break through the atmosphere with this guy. Let's see if we can do that, actually. I'm just gonna let it burn. Actually, no, I'm not. Because we can make money off of recovering fuel, I, th I believe. I think. And that's atmospheres like 70,000. That's the actual atmosphere. Like, yes, we'd be breaking through the heavier stuff, but it wouldn't consider it um, breaking through the atmosphere until about 70,000. So, um, yeah, I, I know all about the warping thing. Okay. That would have been kind of funny if I'd landed right on the tarmac. I think I'm going to, but it would have been funny. There we go. We're coming down, guys! So that's kind of interesting, though. I like the new system involved that... Um, oh, what is this? Oh, this is the contracts that you completed. Okay. Uh, I don't want to do anything with that. Okay, there we go. I was like, I don't want to hit the red axe. I don't want to destroy something. Okay. Oh, no! Oh, no! Well... Poop. <laughs> Oops. I thought I could take that. Alright. Five science earned. We have 22... Parts. We received 40,000, or no, 1,600, 1,700 from recovering parts. Parachute. So this is kind of interesting, too, because like this, the fuel tank part value is 300, but we got 650 back from that. I find that to be interesting, that like your fuel and all that seems to give you more funds for what you have back. Okay. Now, do we have to go back here oh, to like... Ah. complete them? No, I guess we just got that. Maybe. Okay, set altitude of 11,000. This doesn't expire. Test parachute in flight over curve. Dang it! Dang it. Mm -hmm. Test mm -hmm. solid fuel booster in flight over curve. Test stack decoupler in flight over curve. Hmm. Oh, and it gives you all the- ooh, this is gonna be fun! Expires in one day... Wait, duration... So, does that mean the contract is gone in one day, but we have a year to do it? I think? Mm -hmm. Let's, let's mm -hmm. find out. We're kind of experimenting this... this time, so let's just grab all these. Um... Accepted year one, day one. Yeah, deadline is a year. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Solid bo booster incomplete. Kerbin flying altitude between 8400 and 147. 
incomplete speed, so you even have to reach a certain speed. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, this this kind of is a whole new whole new ballpark here. Okay, so we can research that. Now we have 17. Ah, we don't have enough. 20 would be so simple. Oh, and we don't have any lander legs. All right. So I guess the next step is to make a simple orbiting ship. And let's get Jebediah out of here. How did you get back? How did you sneak your way back in there? Murfert, get in there. Alright. So we have goo pods. Oh gosh. Almost went into... Almost went into normal mode. Man, this is gonna be weird. This is gonna be so weird. I've gotta like calculate monies and everything. This is strange. Okay, let's just put one pod there. Do I have a stack decoupler? Oh, I do. Okay, I didn't know I had that. What does that cost? Ugh. Okay, so we have 44,000 and we're at 2,222. Awesome. Okay, um, now the biggest thing here is going to not be going crazy. Now, did that... Okay, so if something's disconnected, then it doesn't it doesn't cost you. That's good to know. Let's make two of these. One here. <laughs> Man, this is going to be hard. I'm like, where's the fuel lines and where's the... <laughs> okay, so what we could do is use boosters to get us through the big part of the atmosphere, right? And then use um do I have I don't have any radial decouplers. I suppose we could use these. That should work. Because these are all gonna detach at the same time anyway. Let's put them like this. And get them till they're level. Oop. That looks good, I think. I think that looks good. Why is there one separate? Weird. Okay, let's let's name this the Mark II. I think that'll be enough. Actually. Let's do, just because my OCD will kill me and we have the money to do so. Um, let's do... Two. Of the goo pods. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. And then what we'll do is have like one mid-atmosphere and one floating out in space in the void. Okay, so here we are. And I guess guess we'll just go turn this ass on oh no why are they wobbling okay i'm spinning but i'm not going anywhere that's good come on buddy you can do it oh no stop spinning you're spinning more why are you spinning so fast Spin. Okay. Whew. Get, get, get squared away. Get back on course. Okay, let's go ahead and fire off one of these. Keep that data, I suppose. at about 20. Let's go ahead and do a gravity turn. We'll pull the map up real quick. I don't know if this will work or not, but oh, we're doing t we're doing pretty good. We got up to 40. 
And we still have plenty of fuel at the moment. All I'm really... Actually, you know what? All I'm really looking to do is break... Um... 70 so it says we're in atmosphere. Oh, you know what? I really... If we can... Let's get up to 70 or 75. And we'll cut it and then I'm going to see if I can turn us so we end up in the in the water. Perfect. Alright, now... Let's add a node, because this thing doesn't land very well. Uh, how do I turn? Is it this? Yeah, there we go. I need to do like this. Oh, wow, that's a whole minute? <laughs> okay. Um, and where might... There it is. That went remarkably well, by the way. Like, we just kind of went whoop. Okay, so let's speed up. Oh, wait, no. That's minus... Oh, it's a 22-second burn. That should be doable. And what is it? So it's 12 that I should start the burn. Okay. And done. So that should be pretty good. Close that out. So we completed four so far. Let's go ahead and speed this up. How are we doing? Oh crap! No 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 no! I didn't uh I didn't use the pod use the pod! Okay, sure. We'll keep that. We're out in space. That works. Um, let's find retro, because I want to be pointed that way. I don't want to burn retro until it looks like we're over the... Over the water, though. Although I suppose I could burn... Well, it really won't matter, because once I pop the chute, I think it slows it down enough that it... In the water, it's fine. I guess you just can't land at normal gravity speed on the thruster. I did it on, like, moons and stuff, but I was coming in at, like, one meter per second and stuff, whereas the the, the ground velocity, I guess, is too much. What's our altitude? We're at 40? Oh, actually, no, I don't want to do that. I want to decouple this. I didn't probably need to do that, though. I could have kept that and then saved the fuel. Dang it, I could have saved myself money. <sighs> oh well. I'm still learning. I'm just used to regular Kerbal, but man, this, this changes stuff. Like, you're thinking about money, you're thinking about... Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be back when we land and recover. All right, so we're back. We got 22 science from the goo pod in upper atmosphere goo pod while flying. And the suborbital recover. And I didn't do a crew report or anything. Crap. I'm so wrapped up on monies. Uh, mystery do Okay, so part value 700, but you get 14 for recovering them. That's cool. So you can actually make funds by recovering stuff, the certain things. I think. If I'm reading that right, I might be wrong, but... I, I feel like that's what it's saying. 88.7% value makes it sound like there's less than there was when we started but I'm getting more funds back, so I don't know. And how did Jebediah get his wiggle his way onto the ship? I just noticed that when I landed, that it said Jebediah Kerman, and I'm like, what the heck, man? How did he get on board? I didn't tell him to get on board. Okay, um... So I kind of want to do this. That's 15. 
This is 15. Let's go ahead and get some rocket stuff. Oh, radial decouplers and struts. I, I need you. I need you. Um, and since... Oh, those are radial decouplers. Okay, let's go ahead and grab those. Okay, we have one science now, but we have all the first tier squared away, which is cool. Um, next ones are... Ooh, science junior and battery packs. That'll be good. Uh, the autonomous stuff. This one I really... This is my next goal, because landing or, uh, strut connectors are hugely important for any of you have, that haven't been keeping up with my series. Alright, so I think we're going to end the episode. Oh, there's more stuff. What do we got? Liquid fuel engine in flight over Kerbin. Sure, let's grab that. Test Rocco Max back solid fuel booster landed at Kerbin. Urban landed. To perform the test, activate the part through staging sequence when all test conditions are met. So you have to be landed and on Kerbin, I guess? Sure, we'll probably be using the solid bo boosters. Periapsis. Oh, so these are different companies now, too. Uh, test separation one landed at Kerb. Sepatron. Sepatron. To perform the test, activate the part through staging sequence. Sepatron landed. Okay. Oh, yeah. Test the radial decoupler. I'll probably be doing that. I want you to test the liquid fuel engine on a suborbital trajectory. Oh, now we're getting complicated. Altitude 75 kilometers to 76 kilometers suborbital. So you have to fire them while they're in that window, I guess. Oh, man, this is going to get complicated. All right. Okay, so let's. Oh, these are just all of our cleared contracts, I guess. Oh, you can scroll through them all to see if you're meeting. Oh, that's so cool. All right. So I'm really excited about this. This is going to be a lot funner and more more goal in mind. Like, sometimes in Kerbal, I was getting kind of like, let's go to the next planet. Let's go to the next planet. But I was kind of feeling like, what do I do next? Or what do I do this episode? So this will actually help us kind of follow along and give us a more uh, structured way to do things that we can kind of, like, shoot for these ideas and stuff. So... I'm having a lot of fun with the new update. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.